So it's like we're asking new questions. So what we've been talking about here is the power of feminine wisdom. That's right. To be present in us and for us to have the courage to express that in business, which has inherently been, not inherently, but it's been, uh, you know, business structures of the last two or three hundred years at least have at been least. corporations are masculine structures. Perhaps 6,000 if you do the yeah. history. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut that if you well, need modern to. Day, but modern day business that we can see, yes, you know, yes, uh, exactly. without going back through yes. history. Um, and we've tried to fit into that. We, that's business and women try and fit in. And it's not easy to fit in. I mean, the more I travel, the more women I meet, the more I finding women who are kind of spat out by the corporate system and finding themselves outside the system. But we've all been trained in business in a, in a masculine way. And to, um, and to really be authentic to ourselves, we have to show up in enterprise and business in a feminine way. But where are the role models for that? There aren't many other. So it's, it's, courage, it's, it's courageous of any woman to really run her business and, and be deeply in connection with her feminine side. Well, I feel like your key word right there was deeply. And in that deeply is each woman, step one, I feel, for every woman is to find her withinness. There she will find the courage, she will find the power. Women are so busy looking externally for empowerment and for um, encouragement. Mm. And it's already in there. There is this oneness that we're wanting to touch and experience and realize. Mm. It's the realization of that, yeah. right? Is, is, is already there. So as we touch that and feel it, and it gives us, the wisdom is already there. So it's what does the wisdom, the universal wisdom, look like through woman? Yeah. Yeah. And for me, this is where this huge transition that's going on of woman of the home realizing herself as woman of the world, mother of the world, mm. mother of the home mm -hmm. to mother of the world. Mother of the world isn't just some far off, like, in fact, none of the things that we're talking about are about, oh, anybody saying airy fairy. No, the word mystical is not airy-fairy at all. It is the most practical word of them all. It means union with yourself. Union with yourself mm -hmm. will bring mm -hmm. a practical aspect. And that's exciting. And the women like have to like find this. And then they probably won't start trusting it unless they are touch it deep enough and are willing to act on it, like you were so beautifully talking about it. It's got to be acted upon. I think it's... It's having the courage to have it validated by yourself, but it's easy to do that with other women, don't you think? Yes. If, when yes. we discuss it yes. with other women, yes. we, we can see ourselves in each yes. other, yes. sharing our stories, and then yes. we're empowering yes. each other by having these conversations rather than having it validated by an external patriarchal source. It, it, it's because we tend to go out, you know, seeking approval. <laughs> it's beautiful because that. it's what you were talking when we were talking earlier about the Occupy movement yeah. and that it needs to take another form. Yeah. I feel like you've just touched on this whole piece with the women. Okay, we've been doing um, uh, potlucks forever and getting together for coffee and tea. Right. That women have okay. <laughs> it was all they were given space for, really. Right. Okay, so it's like women are in touch with the inner spaciousness. The, so now that inner spaciousness must be reflected out in the world. What is it going to look like? I really feel like that the women will lead the way. Mm -hmm. That's what's that's what's unfolding. And and more women that realize that and do their peace can as they arise into that peace with their balanced yin and yang, because you speak and I've seen it on your website so beautifully said you're speaking about the balance 
And that's a universal law. Balance is a universal law. It's the, the yin and the yang. So as women come into that, and and step one was to gather together, right, mm -hmm. and reflect and mirror each other and, and feel empowered from externally. But the next step is being empowered internally. And what, how does that change how women relate? Like maybe it'll be something like a group of women are at one of your circles and they begin speaking and they feel empowered and they're good in economics and finance and so forth and they go, let's start a women's bank, a global women's bank. How's that for an idea? <laughs> you actually brought that up the other night and so I would like to just bring it up again. You like that. <laughs> thank, thank you for bringing it up the other night. Mm. Yeah, the Women's Bank. The, the Women's Bank. Yeah. Mother of the World Bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and, and it's, <clears throat> somebody might say out there, there could be a question, well, why would we want to do that? What we've been doing hasn't worked, that's why. It's yeah. that it's, there, there's nothing to discuss, nothing to debate, and nothing to argue. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do something that works. Yeah, yeah we're good with money. Aren't we? We're good with money. Yeah, we, we can trust us to do the housekeeping. <clears throat> yes. And, and, and by extension of that, if we can run a home, we can run two homes, we can run and a, a bank. And a, oh, let's, <laughs> and a let's bank. just run a bank. <laughs> run a bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just would like to say that I feel like you would be really, really a, a wonderful pioneer for moving in this direction. I. Again, online, I've read the studies you've done with Rianne Eisler, and she also is a very wise woman. And it's, it's, now, it's now moving beyond being empowered and encouraged to what it is we're going to do together. What is the form? What are we going to create? What is the form are we going to create? This, yes. is, this is what we need to do. This is what we need exactly. to get on with, talk about, and make happen. Yes. I've so loved talking oh, to you today. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been beautiful. I can hardly believe that you're actually over here from London in Mount Shasta. And we have this opportunity and the universe has allowed this moment to happen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Just very fun. And I'll be back to see you in Shasta. Yeah. <laughs> and and I would just say too, in in no way is this a a gender conversation. It's, it's a bringing forth the feminine principle that has been missing on the planet that has allowed the imbalance to take place. So this is not a pointing fingers at um, what has come before. It's only a recognition of the imbalance and doing something about it. Yeah, we've and, allowed it to happen yeah, and now we need exactly. to allow yeah. And make allow yes, something else exactly. to happen. Exactly. So so um, it's the women coming forward with the piece, the next the next piece. And yeah, it's, we've it's been missing from the conversation. We now need to step forward and as Rhea Nice has change the conversation. Oh that's beautiful. Change the conversation. Yes. Well, thank Sacred you. partnership, isn't Sacred that what she yeah. talks about? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, and one of my books is called The Sacred Two and so I I also really honor the the masculine feminine balance on the planet and what forms can come from that is very beautiful. Thank you for sharing your beautiful wisdom today. Oh. I so enjoy spending time with you. Thank you for sharing yours around the globe constantly with all the women. I send my blessings on this next part of your journey. Thank you. Okay. And love to you all. And sending you love from Mount Shasta. I hope you can feel it here in our, <laughs> in our meeting space on Mount Shasta. Thanks for watching and being with us.